Hey Eugenia, it is Dustin. <laughs> so, hope you're doing good today. And, uh, yeah, um, I was talking about, um, kind of going doing a vlog at, uh, Spirit Halloween. And, uh, yeah, um, I think I'm gonna try it today. Um, not sure what I'll find. Um, Hopefully I can do vlog okay doing that. Um, I'll make sure to wear my mask, that's for sure. So, so I'll have to wear my mask when I'm in there and all that. But uh, I'm just like totally excited to go and check it out. Because it's been like years since I've gone to one of the Halloween stores that um, they set up every year. Um, yeah, this year it's like the Spirit Halloween is in the old Circuit City building, so... <laughs> um, I think last year it was in the old Toys R Us building, but I think someone bought that building and is turning it into something else. So, yeah, it's in the old Circuit City building. I actually used to work for Circuit City, like, um, oh god, back in 2001. I was a computer salesman at Circuit City, so, yeah, this will be like... I don't know if I've been in that store since I quit working there. So yeah, <laughs> so that'll be interesting. But uh, yeah, it's nice and cloudy out and it's cold and it's like perfect time to go and check it out. So, and I also wanna go at some point to, I don't know if you've been to a home goods store before, but home goods seems to have a lot of really awesome Halloween stuff. My mom keeps telling me, she's like, you have to go to the home goods store. They have the the most amazing collection of um, Halloween decor and everything. She says they have so much of it. It's unbelievable. So I'll have to check that out too. Um, probably not today. Maybe a different day. I'll check out the uh, home goods store. So, and I have all my Halloween decorations. So Got a big box in the other room, of tons of Halloween stuff, so can't wait to set my stuff up. I cleared off my credenza. Um, I, I mean, I, you know I clean my whole apartment like crazy and my parents helped me, so yeah, my credenza, I had cleaned that off yesterday and it's like all ready to put decorations on, so hopefully I can find some more stuff to buy for decor today for Halloween, so. I'm looking to do that. <laughs> I actually have in my kitchen here, I got this at the home goods store. My mom got it for me like last year. This skull right here. I just think this skull is so cool. It's like a skull cookie jar. So yeah, <laughs> it's black. The top unscrews and everything, but I think it's like so awesome. So. So anyway, I'm going to get in the car and head on down there, so I'll be bringing my camera here and I'll have my mask on, so it'll still be fun even though I have the mask on, I think, um, yeah, so I just think it'll be fun to do. <laughs> Actually, last night I, um, I watched the movie, um, The House with a Clock in Its Walls. My gosh, it was really good. Um, it, it was just done extremely well. Um, I've been wanting to see that movie for a while. I think it came out in 2018. But uh, yeah, saw it last night. Jack Black and Kate Blanchett. Um, and the kid that was in it did really good. I'd never seen him before. But um, yeah, it, it was it was a great movie. The like the the CGI, the effects, um, the story was great. It was set in 1955. Um, the house was so awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I want to live in that house. It's so amazing. It's like, it's like, it, the house is like a combination of gothic and steampunk. I love, you know, I love gothic, but I love steampunk too. Um, it was just, it was so cool. It was really cool. So I think that's one I'll buy for sure. <laughs> So yeah, I totally recommend seeing that movie. It was like really, really awesome. So, but okay, um, I'll see you in the car. I'm going to get my jacket on and head out now. 
So I am here at Spirit Halloween Store. So it uh, looks like there is um, several people here. So I was hoping coming early would uh, make it so, you know, wasn't too many people inside, but it uh, looks like there is going to be quite a, an average amount of people. So uh, see how this goes. <laughs> There's Spirit Halloween Store. <laughs> trees obscuring the uh, sign up there so <laughs> well this is really cool I'm gonna show you this when you first walk in it looks really awesome Eugenia look at that that is freaking so cool oh my god <laughs> my gosh pretty big this is like way big <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, here's all the costumes over here, I would like to uh, do a costume, you know, that would be cool to find a costume, um, I've always wanted to do like The Hobbit from Lord of the Rings, or I mean The Hobbit, like one of the characters from there, you know, like, I don't know, like Thor and Oakenshield or something like that, I don't know if they have Hobbit characters in here, but I think that would be uh, pretty cool, so I don't know, I'll have to look and see all the costumes. They have quite a few costumes here. Oh, I'm in the kids section, let me go to the adult section. <laughs> My god, they have like some totally awesome stuff here. Check this thing out, this is really cool. <laughs> see this behind me? That is just so awesome. I mean, they got some really big displays here, like really big. <laughs> here, let me show you closer. This is just so freaking cool. My God. My gosh. And they have more awesome stuff here behind me. I don't know what all these are, I'm gonna have to go through each one of them, but uh, they look so freaking awesome. There's just a ton of displays here. It's like amazing. <laughs> Not sure what that is, but it looks pretty sweet. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like Disneyland or Universal Studios, I don't know. Look at that thing. It's like a two-headed rat or something. <laughs> yeah, these would be kind of cool to set up, like on my front porch. Can you imagine me having something like this on my front porch? <laughs> so yeah, um, <laughs> tons of masks. I'm gonna look at the masks first. We got a lot of weaponry behind me. I love the weaponry, it looks really awesome. <laughs> and uh, yeah, masks galore. Got the Pennywise. Oh gosh, they have, gosh, every kind of mask you can think of. Masks are really cool. Alien masks, Michael Myers masks. Skull masks. Here's a. These are really cool. That head is interesting. Look at that. It's like a bull's head. <laughs> That's really cool. Here's all the weaponry. I think these are cool. All these plastic weapons. <laughs> the daggers. You know I love swords and daggers. And they have a really cool display of skeletons and skulls over here. Really, really awesome display. They have like skeleton bats, skeleton ravens and crows, skeleton uh, fish. <laughs> I hope you can hear me over the music. The music's kind of loud, so. 
really awesome. Look at this. <laughs> Sweet skulls. <laughs> I like this skeleton bat. That's awesome. <laughs> and they have the skeleton snake here. Skeleton turtle and crow. I think that's cool. <laughs> Here's a silver skeleton. That's awesome. Wow. Okay, so yeah. The music's gonna get a little louder. I'm gonna do, wow. There are so many masks here. Oh my gosh. Gorilla masks. They have gas masks. <laughs> oh jeez. I don't know what mask I would choose. Probably a werewolf mask. But yeah, they do have werewolf masks here. I would love to do a werewolf mask. That's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Love the werewolves. The werewolves are like one of my favorite mythical creatures. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Oh gosh. And I do love the pumpkin masks too. Pumpkins are just like one of the best. And these, these are cool. Wow. So hopefully the focusing is okay. <laughs> the camera's just not focusing very well right now, so. Yeah, you can't try the masks on here. It says you can't try them on, so I'm not surprised. And I don't think you can try any of the costumes on here or have fitting rooms or anything, so you'd probably have to like take it home or something. So, yeah. They have like a ton of wigs here. I always thought it'd be cool to get a wig, like, That'd be cool if they have like a cloud stripe wig. I don't know if they do. But they do have like, they just, they have a lot of female wigs here for uh, long hair and everything. So I'm sure they have male wigs around here. Here's the female wigs. Yeah, there's like a ton of them. Oh my God. I'm gonna see if they have Jack Skellington stuff somewhere around here. I, I hope so. I'd like to get some, I don't know, Jack Skellington jack lanterns, or I don't know if I could find a little Halloween tree or something. So let me see if I can find Halloween tree and everything. I think that would be really, really awesome. <laughs> I've never set up a Halloween tree before, but yeah, I know you have a bunch, so. Hopefully, I'm sure they would have a Halloween tree around here somewhere in Jack Skellington stuff. So. Looking at the suits here, it'd be so fun to dress up with you, Eugenia. It'd be cool to get like a couple's dress up suit so the two of us could like dress up together in kind of a matching suit. I think that'd be fun. They have like these cute um, panda bear suits. Here, let me show you these panda bears. These would be fun to dress up as. Yeah, those are cute. A panda bear union suit. <laughs> We could go as panda bears, Eugenia. That'd be like so fun. <laughs> now they got monkeys. They have cows. <laughs> and they have sloths and bears down here. That's cool. They have a uh, gothic red riding hood outfit here. It's a, it's a female outfit, but I think this is really cool. I think this would be like an outfit you'd love to wear. I mean, it looks really amazing. Let me show you. See, check that out. Isn't that cool? It's a gothic red riding hood. <laughs> looks awesome. And here's some other ones. Look at this. Here's another little red riding hood suit. And then here is Big Bad Red. So this is like a, a bad girl red riding hood. I mean, these are really cool outfits. I like these. And then they have this up here. They have a broken uh, doll outfit. This is really cool. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I was thinking those would be those would be some pretty cool outfits that you uh, 
might like to uh, wear for costumes. I think they look really awesome, you know. I love the doll outfits and I love the uh, the Little Red Riding Hood outfits, the different ones, the bad Riding Hood and yeah, really cool. I'm trying to find more men's uh, outfits here. I'm finding lots of female outfits but not a lot of men so I'm going to keep looking. I found Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, finally. Lots of Nightmare Before Christmas costumes. They have Oogie Boogie, they have Jack, and they have Sally. Um, yeah, they have some really cool stuff here. I'd love to dress up as Jack Skellington. That'd be fun. If I went as Jack and you went as Sally, I'd, that'd be just like amazing. <laughs> There's the Jack Skellington outfit, which looks really cool. And here is Sally. Sally looks awesome. And here's Oogie Boogie. Yeah, that's awesome. And I think, I don't know, I think this is also a Sally dress here. This is kind of cool. This looks like Sally's dress, so. And here's the mask from those kids in Nightmare Before Christmas. I forget what those kids are called. Oh yeah. Here it is. Shock, Lock, and Barrel. That's the name of the kids. They have, they have such cool masks. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should get a Jack Skellington costume and dress up as Jack, you know? Um, I'm thinking about it. Um, I'll see what other costumes they have and then decide. They do have a cool Scarecrow costume over here that I was liking, so. I'm not sure. Let me keep looking. It's cool to have a lot of medieval stuff here too. I'd love to dress up as something medieval. I don't know, it's the closest thing I've found to The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings, so. Still looking for Hobbit Lord of the Rings, but they do have really cool medieval stuff here. I really like these things. I love the Dark Knight. <laughs> I always played Dark Knight in uh, Final Fantasy XI when I played that for years. Dark Knight is just awesome. They have cool medieval vests and king stuff. And they have these sword and shields and staffs here. That's pretty sweet. They have lots of lots of female medieval stuff here that's pretty sweet. A bad habit nun, look at that. <laughs> That's really cool with the crosses. Look at all the crosses, that looks awesome. Look at the over the knee socks. That's actually a really sweet outfit, wow. And then, oh yeah, that's cool. Warrior cloak, I like the cloak, that looks awesome. With the sword. <laughs> Tons of gladiator stuff. I love gladiator things from Roman times. These are really awesome. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. do have a few steampunk things. I didn't know if they would have any, but they uh, actually do. So, looks like they just have a few things like vests and hats and goggles and everything. For the hats, oh, here's a lady steampunk outfit. That's a really cool outfit. I always thought steampunk is like, it's like a, it does have gothic Victorian elements to it, you know. But there's lots of gears and lots of, uh, oh yeah, headband bracelet. Here's the men's stuff. That's a, that's a pretty cool uh, vest there. That's pretty cool, steampunk looking. Ooh, I like this, look at this. Oh yeah, Victorian steampunk. I love this outfit. Oh my god, that's a beautiful outfit. I'd love to wear that. Oh, maybe I should get that. Look at that. Oh. I mean, I'm totally into the gothic stuff, but I love the steampunk fashion too. It's like, I've always wanted one of those classy Victorian suits to wear and everything. I just think that clothing style is amazing. I just, I love looking at all the uh, Victorian era fashion. It's probably one of my favorite fashion styles. So that, that Victorian era, era steampunk suit is like perfect. <laughs> I might think of getting that one. It's really awesome. 
And they just have a giant steampunk coat there. That's pretty cool. I like those big vests. <laughs> wow, this is really awesome too. This is like a huge steampunk, like, um, oh, what do they call these? These big long overcoats that almost touch the ground. And they have the cool, um, the mask, what's it called? The, uh, uh, it's like a, it's like a witch doctor mask. Uh, it's a plague doctor, yeah. It's like a steampunk plague doctor mask. This is awesome. Love the plague doctor mask and the steampunk. I love the gears on it and everything. That is awesome. And then it goes with this awesome, big, huge, uh, long overcoat. I love these. Oh my god, that's sweet. I didn't know I was going to find all this here. <laughs> they got the gloves. Wow. More goggles. Oh, and here's a steampunk skirt. This is like for, yeah. Pretty sure that's a female steampunk skirt. Nice. Oh, here's more female costume stuff. Here's a nice corset. I love corsets. Beautiful mask. Love these steampunk masks. Look at that. Awesome. All the gears and keys. Every time I see keys like this, I, I think of Kingdom Hearts. You know, Kingdom Hearts is like. Keys galore, key blades, so love it. Some more, more cool Victorian steampunk wear. It's a nice dress. I think that's Tule on the dress there. It's really pretty. Nice. Oh, that's nice. That's like a, that's like a finger armor ring. It says that is awesome. You wear it on your finger. That's sweet. These are all really cool. These like decoration characters. I like this. <laughs> Be nice to get one of these. That's pretty cool. Oh, it looks like they talk. <laughs> nice. We got these over here. <laughs> That's cool. I was just looking at the weapons here again. They have some just awesome axes. <laughs> I'd love to get some axes. They uh, have some awesome giant scissors here. I'd love to get something like this. I don't know. This is going to be a hard decision. <laughs> Look at those scissors. That's just sweet. Those are huge scissors. I love that. They have like these giant tools and claws and yeah. <laughs> really cool axes, I love these. <laughs> axes are like one of my favorite thing. I love battle axes and stuff. Those are awesome. Nice. Cool shield. <laughs> Over here they have more staffs and everything. I love staffs like this. And over here we got another battle axe and we have a scythe. I love scythes. That is awesome. I don't know. I could literally buy everything in here. I would I would like spend probably a thousand dollars in here just like buying everything. Just costumes and like these huge display decorations of uh, characters that are set up, masks, all the weapons and everything. So, oh man, the uh, costumes are like 50, 50 to $60 each. So I guess that's the going price. I haven't bought a costume in a long time. So that seems like a, about an average price, $50 for a costume, so. What I might do is I might go to the uh, home goods store and see what they have and then decide what I want to buy. So I'm just not quite sure yet. I did find one of the Hobbit weapons. I found the Orcris sword and I think another one of their swords. So there's a few Hobbit things here, um, the plastic weapons. So, <laughs> so here is Orcrist. Doesn't look 
totally like what it looks like in the movie, but it's similar. So, and they do have some other swords here, which is pretty cool. Not sure how much these are. Oh, $15, so that's not bad. 15 bucks for one of the swords, so. I just love this display over here. <laughs> It just looks so cool. Pretty sweet. I've been waiting for you to come out and play. What took you so long? This has like a clown thing, clown creepy kid. <laughs> Scarecrow is really cool. Uh, a lot of clowns. Lots of clowns. Clowns are like creepy as hell. I've always been creeped out by clowns. Here, you want to walk through it, Eugenia? <laughs> are cool. I just found a ton of Jack Skellington stuff here behind me. So <laughs> I guess it's up front. So yeah, lots of Jack stuff. I was hoping I would find a big, a big load of Jack decorations. <laughs> uh, really cool. All the jack-o'-lanterns for Jack and Sally and Zero. These are awesome. I just love Zero so much. Look at him. Here's Zero. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh, I love the mugs. Look at the mugs. Oogie Boogie. Ah, oh, that's cool. Really awesome mugs. And they have a little Jack and Sally here. Those are $25. Nice. There's, there's Sally. <laughs> awesome. So I hope you liked the video, Eugenia. <laughs> That was like, that was really cool. Um, I wasn't expecting so many awesome, you know, like setup displays and everything, but they had some really sweet setup displays in there. Um, really loved it, you know. Lots of cool lighting, just tons of masks and costumes and props and yeah, I don't know. I love the weapons. Um, when I was looking at the uh, Jack Skeleton stuff at the end there, I really want to get the Jack and Sally lanterns. They have a Zero and an Oogie Boogie lantern too. But I think I'm I think I want to get a Jack and a Sally lantern for sure. Um, Cause I was going into this thinking I want to get some Jack Skeleton Skeleton. Um, stuff from Nightmare Before Christmas, you know, because um, I don't have uh, any jack-o'-lanterns that are like that or anything. I just have some pumpkin ones, so I'll see what the home goods store has. I don't know if, I wouldn't think they would really have Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, but yeah, I don't know. I'll have to go, I want to go and see what they have and then I'll make my decision as to what to get, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to come get the Jack and Sally lanterns. The costume, I'm not sure. I love the uh, um, steampunk costume. Oh man, that's really cool. The Jack Skellington costume is cool. I didn't see any Hobbit or Lord of the Rings costumes, which is too bad. I was hoping to find one of those costumes. I just saw a few of the weapons, so yeah, I'm not sure. They had some really cool steampunk stuff in there. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> that really cool dining room table, like gothic steampunk um, table cover. 
that would be kind of cool to uh, have for my um, dining room table. I'm not sure. I would like some candle stuff. I'm sure the ho the uh, home goods store will have more like candle stuff and like home decor things. Um, we'll see. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure I'm going to come back and get the Jack and Sally lanterns. So, yeah. So that was fun going in there. <laughs> kind of felt like going to Disneyland in a way. So it's like if if the Spirit Halloween store is cool, I can't imagine going to Disneyland for Halloween. I mean, I'm sure it's like Spirit Halloween times a thousand. So, I mean, just everything is Halloween. So, kind of gave me a little bit of a taste. So, yeah. I don't think I don't think Disneyland or Disney World is doing a Halloween event this year. I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to look and see what their updated stuff is. But I mean, I wouldn't go anyway because it's just I just don't think it's safe enough with the COVID stuff in a theme park. Sadly, maybe next year. But um, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, I hope you like the video, Eugenia. <laughs> this is kind of just like a, you know, spur of the moment, you know, thought like, well, maybe I could vlog here at Spirit, Hall Spirit Halloween, we'll see. I think it went okay with the mask and everything, you know, so that's cool. But, uh, yeah, this was fun. This was a really fun one to do, and I want to do a dress-up outfit. So I'm going to have to think here what I want to do. I'm guessing these costumes are like one size fits all. So if I get the steampunk outfit, hopefully it fits me okay. <laughs> hopefully it's like not too baggy. I'd rather it be a little snug than too baggy because those Victorian outfits, you want them to fit more snug and fit to your like body style. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll just have to think about it. I don't think they have costumes at the home goods store. I think it's just home decor things. So, but yeah, that was so fun. So I hope you enjoyed watching me walk around Spirit Halloween, Eugenia. That was really, really cool. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go to the store now and get a few things and then I'll probably head home. So and hope things are going okay back in Connecticut. So I love you. Mwah. There's kisses there for you. Mwah. And giving you some hugs, sweetheart. So hope you've been doing okay with everything. And uh, yeah, I'll just see you in my next video. So, you know, the last video I kept saying, there's this one, there's these cool things I got that I want to show you and the next video is going to be that. Well, here I am at the end of another video saying, okay, now the next video is going to be that cool, those cool things I got. <laughs> I mean, that's so funny. I keep putting that video off, but I'm going to make it because it's really cool and I'm excited about it and I just want to show you. Um, it'll probably just be like a 10 minute video, but I just have to show you. So yeah, <laughs> so hopefully the next video will be that. So it should be. So yeah, I keep putting it off, <laughs> but okay. Hope you have a good day and I'll talk to you later. I uh, love you so much. Okay.